welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are playing Death Worm. Now I decided I'm going to take a break from Jurassic World Alive, and I will start playing some other games. And this is one of those games. Death Worm. Now basically, for this game, you just destroy things as, as a giant Death Worm creature. And, uh, yeah. So, there's, like, some free play missions, like, um... Ah, oh Christ, I did not mean to pick that. One, two seconds. Alright, guys, sorry about that. So, like I said, there's just this, which is just free play, you do whatever. And then there's these campaign missions, and then these little side quests. Alright. Now, these last few missions have been pretty easy, so... I haven't really needed to upgrade my worm a whole lot, but... Hey. And then, alright, what's the next? What's the next one we unlock? The next one is the alien worm, and we need to... Alright. Alright, so, yeah. My question of the day for you guys, we're probably not going to do questions of the days for these types of videos, is, um, what other games should I play? I plan on having, uh, war robots on this channel, I haven't gone around to doing that yet. When six blitz rounds, use three gameplay boosts, upgrade rounds, oh. Yeah, we're just gonna do the. We're gonna start off with a side quest, and then we're gonna go into the campaign. And there's also like special power ups for this game. There's a ton of things. It's really intricate, sort of. And then this little side quest is kill a certain amount of armed humans. Now, obviously, I am on the second map. Unfortunately, I started playing this game in my free time before I started showing it to you guys. Get used to that. <laughs> like I did that with Jurassic World Alive, and the main reason is because I thought it'd be cool to make a YouTube video on it. Even though I already played it as like a, just for fun. Like when I had nothing to do in school or got bored at home. So yeah, that's why, uh... That's why we have, like, the fourth Death Worm unlocked. Even though it's, like, the first episode. You probably couldn't do this in this amount of time. I mean, unless you never go outside. But, I mean, I would highly recommend to go outside every now and again. It's apparently good for your health. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Alright. I guarantee you this is probably going to be on, like, some... Some, I don't know. Alright. Now, y'all are going to have to get used to this. Because there's a button for me to click an ad and get double the coin, I'm going to take that. Alright, because I, I kind of need it. So, these next few times where I finish a mission, I'm going to have to pause the video, watch the ad, so y'all don't have to see it, because it's probably annoying for y'all. So, uh, yeah, two seconds. Alright, now for you guys, I know that was probably like two seconds, but for me, it was 15 seconds of probably the worst advertising experience ever. More fire, fire frenzy. Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm already taking that much damage? Okay, no, stop trying to get the power up. Use it. Kill them all. That's going to get me on. Saying that is going to get me on the FBI watch list. I already know. How we haven't killed this many humans is, and it is strange, but uh, I think we have to eat them. Cool thing is when you eat a person in this game, you gain health. That's also probably going to put me on FBI watch list. Um, but I mean, hey. Pretty sure every cannibal ever said eating people gives you health. But in the context of this game, it kind of makes sense. Because you're a giant death worm. 
I'll give this mission its due. It's been a it's been a little challenging. I'm trying to get this. Yeah, apparently you can equip missiles. It's a bit weird. I am pretty trash at maneuvering, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the carnage. <laughs> Said every Marvel Comics producer ever. Like I said earlier, I'll be back with y'all in two seconds. Alright, and we're back, and for some reason the audio is not working, but that's alright. We have my subpar commentary. Trying not to accidentally hit stop recording. Trying not to do that. Alright, so like I said, this is not the first worm you unlock, it's far from it. And, yeah. So, I think... Normally, I would like to showcase these worms to you guys. But, I think I'll give y'all something to look for. When y'all download the game. But also, last video I make on this game, after I finish, like, all of the campaign missions and all of the stuff this game has. I think I'll do a video on, uh, a, a worm showcase for you. But, yeah, I would highly recommend this game pretty fun when you have literally nothing better to do. Alright, destroy 20 tanks. Yeah. Alright, so some of these missions have stages, and also note that we're on the arctic map, so different animals are going to spawn. The first map of this game is a desert, I believe. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Does that count as a tank? No, it doesn't. Also, they have these weird little mech Star Wars walkers. I'm not sure what we're supposed to call them. Pretty cool, I guess. Oh yeah, and I got the invisibility power up, so that's why no one's shooting at me. Y'all are probably a little confused, probably. Oh, I am on low health. Like, low, 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 low health. I think I, I, think I hit like a landmine. Yes, eat the people, they give you health. That sounds slightly incriminating. I think most of the things I said in this video are slightly incriminating. Alright, five more tanks to go. And then there's even still a next level. I mean, uh, what's the next stage to this level? Slowly gaining our health back via eating the people. Yeah, those underground drill things are really not fun to deal with. So that's why you have to avoid them or shoot at them with a fireball ability. By the way, all ones have a fireball ability. It's just one shoots like... And they all have a special ability along with the fireball. So, yeah. 
Oh, now we just have to take out a UFO. I hate these kinds of missions. I don't like it when they throw a UFO at me and expect me to kill it in a certain amount of time. That was so close. So close. I know, I know, game. Ow. Jesus, how do you kill this thing? I thought this level was easy. I, I may have to... Mm. Yes, watch as, as I try, try and fail to kill a singular UFO. If anything, I destroyed everything but the UFO. Oh, I thought that was it. Hmm. Yes, I know, I know. I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna wait for him to come back around. How is he? What are you doing? How is he that fast? Oh, and my recording thing's in the way of the X, so I can't, I can't do anything. All right, there we go. Mission failed. We ran out of time. All right. So I think I'll take the game's advice. Oh, advertisement. Whoop. All right, I'll take the game's advice and do, like, side quests and things like that. So we're gonna do a a blitz. So this is basically just fight a whole bunch of stuff and then you get your score up to a certain amount. This place looks like Ukraine. This is a bit of I think I think this level is in a bit poor taste. But I mean, hey. This actually does look like somewhere in Russia. Or uh, maybe, maybe one of those countries. I probably sound really stupid right now. Oh yeah, I forgot I was recording. I completely forgot to I need to keep talking during these things. Well I guess I'll just let y'all vibe to the music. Alright guys. So this is my first video on Deathworm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did. Hope you'll consider subscribing and have a nice day.